yourselves to worshiping our Lord. Would you please have a seat? And let's celebrate those that have come to baptism and surrendering to him. have some good news for you guys today and some bad news. The good news that we can celebrate is today there are going to be 18 baptisms that are going to happen in our church today. The bad news is you guys only get to see two of them. Most of them are going to happen in the next service. But I do want to ask you as, as these come today that you would covenant to pray for these who come um, in their journey, in their process, that it would be useful to the Lord, that they would grow up in their faith. Uh, Pick one of these two that are coming this morning and pray for them. Our first candidate is Kara Morgan. And as Kara comes, I want to tell you a little bit of her story. First, let me just ask you to do this. If you've been in any way a part of Kara's journey with the Lord, um, as a family member, if you're just a member of her family here to celebrate this, or if you've been a Sunday school teacher or in Sunday school or part of the youth group, whatever, if you've been a part of her journey, we just want to ask you to stand during this process. If you in any way have just been a part of this, just want to invite you to stand right now. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Kara's story. Uh, Kara was saved two years ago, and right away wanted to follow the Lord in baptism. And uh, her mom asked her to, to wait on that process and want to make sure she was old enough. And so for two years, Kara has waited and longed. And she's understood that this is the first step of obedience. But because she wasn't allowed to do that, she just obeyed the Lord in other ways. Came and got involved in Bible study and Sunday school and uh, serving the Lord, involved in our student leadership team, has just given her life to chase after God. Today she celebrates. Every time we've had baptism, she's cried because she's wanted to do this. Today she celebrates, and I hope you'll celebrate with her. Kara, have you trusted Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? Then based upon this public profession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried together with Christ, raised to walk in the midst of life. This is Chase Sims. Chase comes today, shared with me that uh, this journey towards the Lord started with him at a Christian Metallica concert. So for those of you who think God can't use that kind of music, uh, he is used it in, in Chase's life. Uh, but Chase comes today to confirm his salvation experience with Christ. If you've been a part of that journey uh, as a Sunday school teacher or a member or in that kind of stuff, or you're a family member here with him, I'm gonna ask that you would also stand during this process. Chase, have you trusted Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? Yes. Chase, based upon this public profession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried together with Christ, raised to walk in newness of life. Let's pray. Father, we rejoice at the signs of It's an exciting day here at Little Flock and that the reason we exist is for the purpose of reaching out to people and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ and seeing people come to know him as personal Lord and Savior. And in the first service, we had two that were baptized. In this service, we're going to have 16. really a testimony to two different things. One, it's a testimony to parents bringing up their children in the ways of the Lord because 14 out of the 16 are children. It's a testimony also to our church and our children's ministry and what they're doing and teaching our children. And we appreciate all that uh, many, many teachers do in the children's area that help teach these children about Jesus and how that they can come to know him. But it takes those parents at home doing that job sharing Jesus, praying with them, and setting the example, and we appreciate that. So let's celebrate today as we baptize 16. She has accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. Wants to be baptized and as an example to others. 
Tenants, have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? She says yes. Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. are sisters that have come to know the Lord. This is Kayla and this is Maroya Little. And they have gone through the believers, now that I'm a believers class that our children's ministry does, and they come today wanting to profess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Kayla, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? She says yes. Well, I baptize you, my sister. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. There you go. This is Maroya Little. And they're all wearing their new t-shirts that we give each one of our baptismal candidates, our children. They get a t-shirt that says, I've been baptized at Little Flock. Arroyam, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Well, then I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, this is Logan Johnson. Logan, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He says yes. Well, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, well, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mason Smith. Mason, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Well, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He says, yes. Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He says, yes. Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Step up a bit. 
This is Savannah Zetti. Savannah, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your first Lord and Savior? Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, she is. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I knew I was going to mess it up. Anyway, Lithium, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Says yes. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He says yes. Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son. This is Caleb Mays. Caleb, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He has. Well, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Caleb's brother, Jacob. Jacob Mays. Jacob, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Olivia first. I joked with her when we were up there in the baptistry. I said, you're going to always be first. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? She has. Well, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Brandon was at our All Pro Dad simulcast yesterday. He is setting an example to his children that this is what we need to do: is to accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. And he was here yesterday to build those relationships with his parents or his children, rather. And I appreciate you being here yesterday. Well, Brandon, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He has. Well, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. This is 
is Michael Bird. Michael, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? He has. I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you 